warm welcome to everybody here today. This is a real joyous occasion. I just want to say I'm really, really honoured to be here. And I want to thank Joe. It's a pleasure for me to be the best man. It's been an amazing day so far. You both look amazing. You've obviously made your parents very, very proud. You've made me proud as well. Because, as he said earlier, he was the guy who was never, ever getting married. But he just hadn't met the right lassie. I, Joseph, take you, Sarah. I, Joseph, take you, Sarah. To be my wife. To be my wife. I promise and covenant. I promise and covenant. To be a loving. To be a loving. Faithful. Faithful. And loyal husband to you. And loyal husband to you. For as long as we both shall live. For as long as we both shall live. I take you, Joseph. I say that I take you, Joseph. To be my husband. To be my husband. I promise and covenant. I promise and covenant. To be a loving. To be a loving. Faithful. Faithful. And loyal wife to you. And loyal wife to you. For as long as we both shall live. For as long as we both shall live. God has heard these vows, and we indeed are witnesses of them. And so now, as a token of the covenant into which you have entered, these rings are given and received as a sign of your commitment to each other. And may God bless these rings and you the givers and the wearers of them. By these simple signs you take each other to have and to hold from this day forward, for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish till death shall part you. As I look at my daughter, I can't help but reflect on all the years I was fortunate to watch her grow up into the beautiful woman that she is today. Beautiful both on the outside and on the inside. And as much as you've made your covenant together, declaring it before God and your family and friends who gather with you, I now pronounce you to be husband and wife in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. What God has joined, man should not separate. The Lord bless you and keep you. Now, Joseph, you may now kiss the bride.
do consider myself to be the luckiest man in the world to have met such a stunning, hard-working and wonderful woman. Sarah, you are my soulmate, my best friend, my travel companion and now my wife. And I couldn't have asked for a better person to spend the rest of my life with and I love you so much. I would now like to ask you all to be upstanding for my wife, Mrs Hurley. Mrs Hurley. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.